Very good morning to students. Uh, today we are going to learn about the uh, long wall mining the part of uh, AFC equipment and its working is a today topic. Uh, well known. Uh, my name is Karuna Kumar, HOD Mining. Particularly, uh, armor fixable conveyor is uh, one of the key equipment in the long wall phase uh, cutting procedures. Uh, this role is very important um, and because carrying of the transporting of the coal uh, cutted material to the AFC only. This is called a Python conveyor, sometimes it is also called. So, about its working, its model, these things were discussed in this. So, this is a view of the long wall mining. Uh, we see the, how the coal is cutting and also the cutted coal is falling into the uh, uh, one particular bottom uh, flexible conveyor. Uh, see here is showing that the uh, parts are showing here. This is the armored uh, flexible conveyor. This is our uh, this is hydraulic uh, power supports and shader. In a long wall coal mining, the coal cut down by a shearer is uh, transported by an armored face chain conveyor. Uh, which is laid across the full face width uh, to the head entry, a T junction where the transfer to the entry belt conveyor through the mobile stage loader. Uh, the armored face chain conveyor has a large carry capacity. Uh, it is a structural, a very strong, bendable, and low in body height. It serves not only as a guide rail for the shearer but also the pivot for the supporting advance. So, it transport the coal is a speed in excess of the 1 meter per second. However, some phase conveyors are running at a speed at a high as a 1.6 1, 1. meter per second. Generally, the power and capacity of AFC are reflected by the motor size, pan, width and chain size. So, see that here, very uh, speciality of uh, AFC. AFC ones cut the material and transferred and also the T junction is the where the transferring point to the gate roads. So where the mobile stage road is, the mobile stage road is the uh, very small conveyor they uh, it will be hitting the uh, big boulders and uh, suitable to the uh, belt conveyor uh, that's called the stage loader. Uh, the, almost the transport pole speed is excess in one minute second. However, the face conveyor is running a speed of height uh, 1.6 meters uh, per second. Apart from the AFC, uh, primarily, apart from the from the AFC, primarily functions of the removing the coal from the face, its structure is used for other purposes. The edge of the base are used as a tracks for the coal cutting machines, shearers to run on. Uh, tracks and chain utilized for the haulage of the shearer are mounted on the AFC in most cases. A trough and uh, attachments are mounted on the back right, to carry fixed and tra traveling cables and hoses. Major components of the armor face conveyors uh, these are the drive head, various pans, that's the line pan, ramp pans, connecting pans, and adjusting pans, uh, link chains, scrapper or flight bars, trail end, double acting ramp. Used for both the supports and uh, conveyor advances, auxiliary devices, face side ramps, plates, go side uh, spill plates, uh, cable handling channels, uh, chain tensioning and uh, conveyors, uh, anchorage devices. So these are the uh, general uh, major components of the major components of the major components of the uh, armor face conveyors. Major components of the armor face conveyor. So coming by one by one, you will see that uh, basically uh, the background, you see, 
this is the structure complete structure of the AFC it consists of mainly drive frame unit drive electric motor air box fluid coupling chain spoke it is a backbone of a all the long wall face equipment uh, conveyor on the primarily designed uh, to transport coal of long wall face uh, but it is also serve as a guide for the shearer plow etc and as an abutment for the face of course the main requirement of the armed flexible chain conveyors are as follows sufficient carrying capacity we have the sufficient the main requirement of the armed frame is sufficient uh, carrying capacity strong base to guide the mining machines strong base to guide the mining machine high breaking strength and at adequate flexibility of the fan connection uh, adequate sectional uh, rigidity to make the thrust for moving uh, for moving and pull for the adv uh, advance of the supports high resistance to wear and long uh, service life so these are the major um, points uh, for the equipment uh, for the AFC is concerned uh, sufficient carrying capacity, strong base, high breaking strength, adequate section resistance, high risk of the long term. To meet these requirements, high production rates, the conveyor pants and the chain have been strengthened and the loading cross sectional increases, uh, almost loading cross section around uh, um, depending upon the capacity. The major principles of uh, working of the uh, AFC or functions of the AFC are. Uh, Armed flexible conveyor or the fall major functions are number one is the receiving of the coal. So it is a receiving the coal. You see this figure here, you can observe. Yes, it is a receiving the coal. It is showing that this is the receiving the coal from the major functions of the coal. This is receiving the coal by the power loader, which is cut by the power loader and carried along the coal face to the main coal. So carrying this coal to the, uh, from the here to the another end. So, the coal when the cut, the coal will be transferred from one end to another end. Since AFC can be snaked forward step with the advance of the coal faces, that is the main, not only it will be carrying the coal or cut by coal, and also it will be snaking uh, to enabling to the moving of shear. So, these are the major functions of the AFC. And then, what are the pans? These are the, the numerous piece of pans in the conveyor. They serve as a supporting structure. Serve as a supporting structure. Serve as a supporting structure. They serve as a supporting structure and moving forward for the flight bars and loading pole is also act as a guide rail right, for the cutting mission. There are following types: line or standard pants, ram, connecting pants. Adjustable, uh, adjusting pants, split pants. Uh, for which uh, you, these are the different type of. Uh, Structural of the uh, AFC armor face conveyors. These are the parts of the armor uh, Let us uh, go to the uh, discussion. What are the special features of the AFC for long wall extraction? Uh, narrow overall height, a great rigidity, and the strength against the lateral and the vertical forces. Tightly fitted 
tech flats uh, preventing the spillage can be pushed at a new position without uh, dismantling as the phase advances it can be reflected uh, around uh, four and a half degree in the vertical and six degrees in the horizontal uh, the sigma section guarantee guides of any type of chain assembly so uh, the cross section of the afc uh, attached to the chalk shield supports uh, main can um, uh, these are the uh, connecting the push ramp to the afc so any spillage of plates or these are the things also attached to them. Generally, based on the type of the chain strands, this is of the chain strands. Depending upon the chain strands, the chain uh, consists of uh, um, uh, unit consists of a link chain and the flight bars. The chain unit must uh, be very strong and rigid and highly wear resistant because it is a subject to heavy external loading both dynamic and static and two needs to overcome the frictional resistance so this is the major use of chain strand but chain have the different chains are there based on type of chain strands single central strand is called sc yes double central chain strand is called pccs Double outboard chain strands, DOCS, triple chain strands. These are the uh, attachment of this chain in the pants. For example, here is showing this is the chain. This is pin inboard. So if showing outside the outboard, there may be triple is also there sometimes. So that is showing here. So one by one is this. What is the main best single string? If you have only single chain, that means if you have double chain, yeah, there is only single chain. So one or other is advantage is that uh, it's a stage loader. This is this is a bigger resistance. That's it. The special characters in this type of chain strand are as follows: a chain elongation has no significant effect. Flight bars does not follow, but uh, position. Uh, towards the uh, center is a uh, 90 degrees for us. Reliable in operation. Have a longer life. With a heavy chain. Size of the chain is uh, independent of the pan section. Uh, have longer chain assembly section. <coughs> but the chain is loose and load one side of the flight bar. Also great into the object. Position, but it will not uh, come out the top right till it exceeds more than 30 degrees. 35 degrees. In the future, it may be gained more acceptance in high capacity long run is due to the improvement of the quality of the steel flap chain. Uh, another is a triple chain uh, strand, it has the following characteristic uh, flight bars does not get bent to the excessive load. Excessive load. Uh, if the chain breaks, the bottom race it can be continue. Uh, running until the top race uh, is reached where uh, repair can can be rip, uh, can be made without the difficulties triple strand chain assemblies are used on the con conveyors wider than the 610 mm flexibility is less compared to the other type of chain strands Third chain only add more weight and cost with, uh, without much advantages. So these are the, the cross section round link chains are available. Flight bar is there. Uh, this is the called the flight bar. This is the flight bar. This is a, a chain. Uh, deck plate is also there. Deck plate is a uh, bottom uh, the top race is there. The sigma section is the uh, sigma section. Actually, this portion you can be see easily. This portion is actually called a sigma section. Uh, the double outboard chain strand strands uh, have the, the advantages of that. Uh, it's flexibility it's less compared to the single uh, central strand. Due to the wider top guide. The pan it results in a larger uh, dead area. The curved region to 
out of chain experience more tension compared to the uh, inner chain and hence the chain elongated constructed with a more way flight uh, the flight uh, Flight bar space obstacle due to the blockage they have repaired. That means depending upon the uh, usage of it, double central chain is the most popular using. Uh, its principle is more compared to the double outboard chain strands. We improve the uh, non uniform loading. High fatigue resistance to ensure long flight, good uh, availability. So, chain uh, connections, the uh, shackle type of connector and uh, padlock type connector, clamp on uh, type connector. Scrapper bar, the design must uh, uh, facilitate easy assembly, provide a high resistance to bending in the surface in both horizontal and vertical plane, have a large pushing the surface with a minimum weight. There are manufacturing from the alloy steel as a rolled construction bit bars, cast bars uh, for a forged bars. After forging, they are a hard, hardened and tempered. The tensile strength of the material after heat treatment should be in the range of 900 to 1100 newton per mm square. Scrapper bar spacing values between 0 0.5 and 1. So these are the uh, generalized uh, types of the plant systems and uh, the chain uh, assembly, which is a twin in polar chain, between outboard is the central uh, chain systems are there. So depending upon the uh, uh, usages available to there, mostly this is the one model of the spike bars. Some line pans are there. So line pans uh, and uh, these are the uh, the conveyor is a built. Uh, generally, the chain connections are uh, the shackle type connector, open type or closer type. There are padlock type connectors are there. Clamp on type connectors also. Uh, scrapper bar design must be facility, uh, easy assembly. Provide a high resistance to bending in a surface in both horizontal and vertical plants. Have a large pushing surface with a minimum height. There are manufacturing for, from the alloy steel as a rolled sections, um, uh, bars, cast bars, and uh, forged bars. Um, after forging, they are uh, hardened and tempered. Temper. The tender strength may be added the, depending upon the ranges. So, line pans, the, these are the, the continuously using at the uh, these are the line pans continuously using. Uh, there will be some gradient they will be using other types. Uh, Join company, this is a back plate, uh, top uh, chain. So with this, uh, uh, the, this is a ramp plate. This is a ramp plate. It is a pushing of the uh, material when the cut the material is pushed out uh, to pour in and easily entering to the AFC. This is the sigma section. This is called Z sigma section. So see, this is the right line sigma. That's the person. This is a written chain conveyor. Bottom uh, written uh, chain. This is a bottom closed type. So, if any dirty material can be in this one, sometimes this is open system for some reason. Bottom open or bottom closed system. Top chain race, these are top chain races. So, steel plate, these are the it's complete structure of the uh, AFC part.
right? It's an easy way seeing the top chain race, black plate, track for shearer drive, uh, twin chain, ramp plate, sigma section, bottom, written chain race, right? Go to one by one. The first one, I go to the line pad. Just remember line pad. The conveyor is built up from the line pad, each 1.5 meter long, flexibility, connected by a single bolt or dump plate on each side. With the bolt connection, which is the most commonly used, the bolts are fitted through a welded cast lungs, the pan ends, which are skid knocked to maintain vertical and lateral alignment independently of the bolt. Each line pan is fabricated from the special undivided sigma section, rolled steel side neck members, welded to the thick deck plates. The deck plate form the sliding surface of the conveying chain assembly and its thickness varies from the 10 to 12 mm. So there is a drive head, a drive head frame, a ramp pan. This is a tiling gate, a ramp pan, a line pan. And just these are the own sequence we connected. One end is a drive head. It's already the figure is given here. Yes, this is the drive head. This is the drive head. Drive head frame is there. This is the drive head frame. And also ramp plate for the small gradient is there. And also some adjusted pans are made middle is there. And all line plates are there, complete line. And also this is the tile. So this is the complete hierarchy of the AF system. So what is the special feature of the sigma? What is the special feature of the sigma? So this is the sigma. What is the special feature of the sigma? Let us discuss. Special feature of the sigma section, the top plane stiff against the bending, bending, increasing uh, material thickness in the area of the chain base, wide bottom plane which is rounded off the edge. So height is about uh, medium to heavy, which is uh, weight uh, almost. It is almost uh, uh, 6500 uh, or 600 feet. It's a common size, sir, 622 to 750 mm. The sigma section height is uh, 190 to So the sigma section is fabricated from the strong double strengthened chain race and a strong abrasive resistant deck plate. The end of the deck plate is uh, projected from one pan overlap the uh, deck plates. For the next pan, to prevent the fine coat from uh, uh, falling into the bottom place, both the male, male and female eggs are detonated to the cast magnesium steel. Deck plates are also made of a rolled magnesium steel. The connector box, uh, large side socket, are welded in the hollow of the side section. Articulation of line pads, the like steel is on metal border and the Common rail 6 degrees or better at the water. Ramp or connecting pan. Disconnecting the drive frame and the line pan to give the mildest slope for the smooth movement of the flight pass. The gradient pans are there. The gradient pans may be installed between the ramp pan and the line pan for the much, much mildest slope. Much mildest slope. They are shorter. And are used either extended or short. 
There are they are used when the floor rock is soft. There, here we very figure is showing very clearly here. Yeah, this is a closed bottle, it's not open bottle. So the figure picture is still you can be able to understand. See once. There are used when the floor rock is soft. In this case, there will be less coal dust accumulation in the return section. That is a very important thing. Bottom is a very less dust Otherwise, the floor will be in a dirty nature or water nature. This will be affecting the uh, return uh, uh, in a top moving type. Similarly, that will be going inside and come outside. So, so that goes to some advantage than the uh, open type system. There are used when the floor or rock is soft. In this case, uh, there will be less holes, dust accumulation in the return section and the frictional resistance of the chain. Move, maintain the smaller, but uh, if the chain breaks in the bottom race, it will be very difficult to repair. To cope up with this problem, a special type of pan, pan inspection door, the deck plates is installed in every tenth pan to provide access to the return chain in the bottom section of the pan. Half inch thick bottom plates is generally welded. However, more recently, closer to bottom line pans with the removable bolted bottom plates are being used, which eliminates the access door. Deck plates of the 20, 25, and 30 mm thickness are most common. Jamming of the AFC will take place when the dust produces in the face sticks and sticky material carried by the chain into the race profile. Hardened by harden up during the weekend. So smaller effective loaded cross sectional area, lump size can be handled by this uh, smaller compared to the double outboard chain stand and the single chain stand. To the differential elongations of the chain with the non-uniform body, uh, the elongated chain uh, may fall out from the sprocket to teeth. The frictional resistance is higher in the chain compared to the double outboard chain stand. So this is the one. Uh, Basic advantages of these things. <laughs> so, main components. Uh, of the, the AFC uh, already well listed here, but uh, once again, we have to repeat uh, what are the main components of uh, AFC. Uh, the, an armored flexible conveyor has the following main components drive unit, uh, return, uh, return unit, intermediate line pan, chain assembly, ancillary equipment. So chain connected is a twin outboard strand chain, and a twin inboard chain is there, a single central chain is also there. So now if you can see they will almost be the chain in uh, uh, twin inboard chains, most of the chain in general. Uh, these are the chain connectors and the chain uh, twin inboard chains. So ramp legs are bolted to the face side of the pads to clean up the uh, track behind the winding machine, uh, the conveyor is at once. They, they those ensure that the conveyor is kept at the floor level so that the winding machine maintains the current uh, cutting of origin. Uh, full face ramp plate has a 37 and of slope throughout our with the 37 and degree meaning lower section and a falling 45 uh, degrees upper section to minimize the proper free front plate. Off face ramp plates can be fitted in the mission ramp plate. The width of the ramp plates will lie between. This is another uh, AFC advantage is the <coughs> spill plate. It prevents the coal from the spilling over the core side of the AFC and enlarge the 
cross section area of the core body in order to increase the carry capacity of the FC. The depth of these spill plates, depending upon the seam sections, the depth of web and the type of diminution uh, is Tubular trapping uh, is retained and uh, guide the curve side of the AFC mounted emissions and usually incorporated with a spacer which provides the clearance between the mission and the cylinders. Cable handling troughs it has a storage space which is loaded formed by the bottom plates of the trough and used for the storing hydraulic process, static cables mentioned with the mission cable and the water hose with a roll rack system mission college unit. Separate tracks are bolted to the plates. On the both side of the mission is trapped by a ratchet, and uh, on the face side of the combined ramp plates, the traveling track is featured. Chain assembly. The chain assembly consists of a welded round only chain length yellow uh, alloy steel made. <coughs> Alloy steel made, alloy steel chain connecting with carbon steel plates. Uh, high tensile strength uh, nuts or uh, bolts are shorted chain. Uh, Right. Now, drive head uh, is our important uh, part of the AFC. This part is very important. Drive head. Drive head is a very important part. In part two, we can use mentioned drive head. Uh, it consists of a drive head frame, a sprocket drum motor, a gearbox and a fluid coupling. A drive head frame it supports the heavy duty sprocket drum mounted on it. It may be standard ramp, uh, flat top design. The drive frame is a heavily fabricated weighted construction. Um, the frame incorporated in a reliable chain uh, strippers of the chain reflecting plates of the high carbon steel so that the return chain leave uh, sprocket drum without a coiling it. Uh, there may be a haulage anchorage arrangement within the drive frame, skid with the receiving the pockets for the holding down probe, you know, props or uh, other uh, sprocket drums. So, another electric power motor is also there, fluid coupling also there. Uh, there is a gearbox system is also there. So, these are the uh, as for the uh, parts is concerned. Another, uh, you are given the various pans. Uh, Link chains, scrapper, dilator, double acting drum, turn one spin, and also the auxiliary devices, face side uh, ramp uh, plates, uh, both side uh, spill plates are there, cable handling chain also there, chain tensioning uh, conveyor chain is there. So, these are the parts. So, I am showing a beautiful figure is how to the drive end with the rotating. Please go through it with the driving uh, sprocket is there. So, it is very well uh, rotating, it will output just a chain. Cycle chain will be rotating. So go to another end and come to back. It can be enlarged some more, else you can be able to see uh, some more effective. Yes. This is very clear. It's very clear. Very clear. So it may be a sprocket or a roller. 
so guide rollers so idlers so the price pocket the armed plating pads so okay so transfer methods of the bit of entry this is a from the next to first of all see this uh, how the pockets are moving with the idlers Right. Then, so this is a joint where the junction, uh, transferring the uh, the material from the receiving of the AFC and uh, reach the own end. The end two, there will be required the direction change. There is a T junction. From there, there is a stage loader. Stage loader to the transferring to the uh, conveyor belt. Yes, this is the stage loader. The role of stage loader. So this is a crusher and stage loader position. The food received then before uh, conveyor uh, entering the uh, cutting material, so they will crush here. That spot is called stage loader. So the, the AFC, other end of the AFC, uh, this is part of the stage loader. You have this small crusher, crush it. And sent to the, the current to the belt current. So the role of a stage road is also very important. We explain again one second stage road. So uh, the, the, the smooth transport of coal in the high volume of coal phases, where shearers and uh, power loop supports are used, the basic components are phase conveyors. Uh, uh, the beam stage loader, most of the call is a beam stage loader. Uh, the fundamental, uh, with the coal uh, has been a long haul to the uh, main, uh, main gate. It is then it has been transferred through there as a 90 degree star. That is very important. It's called T junction, the particular given LAK in this figure, this T junction. So from here, it is entering to the stage loader uh, and loaded onto the a main gate uh, conveyor. This is a function is carried out by the beam stage loader or BSL, called most popular known as a BSL, which is a, another scrapper conveyor. In this case, with the uh, steel plates of the both sides and run from the uh, main gate drive to the main gate conveyor belt, the BSL, the, the, the beam stage loader, has a change uh, of elevation, uh, vertical curve along its length of order to discharge coal under the main gate conveyor. And almost all cases, a crusher or uh, breaker is mounted on the BSL to improve loading onto the prevent to damage the outback conveyors, the BSL and uh, above uh, the boot and uh, normal attached to the it within an attachment able to rotate horizontally and with the limited amount of vertical uh, flexibility. In most cases, the BSL 
run past the main gate to drive to the cove side and the AFC is a slightly elevated whereas the two strappers cross the there may be no base plates to the AFC at this point to the pole drum from the AFC or to the BSL. This design is known as a uh, side discharge and a curved guide plate often mounted across the BSL. The loading point to the assistant to the guide of the pole around the right angle to the top. An alternate arrangement where the AFC stop the face side edge, the beam stage loader scrapper to up to known as the end discharge of the point. So this is the role of the particular stage load is concerned. Then so this is the segments showing complete path of AFC. So see that uh, intermittent of all cable houses, uh, rear AFC, AFC, the red part of the trough of the refrain, fixed cable hose, relay board connect and support of the AFC. Right, okay, then so I'm going to next slide. The, so, here complete hierarchy of the, uh, the long wall mine uh, AFC role in anyway, schematic diagram is right down, wrote down this one. This is a uh, not photograph, slide diagram, so that you can be rewrite the notes useful for the examination point of view. The conventional drive configurations and uh, inverted motor gearbox. Gearbox fluid coupling motor, uh, drive pockets of the given. This is the AFC spans. So, main gate, this is the main gate. So well, uh, just with, with, with this I am going to concluding the uh, today lecture. So I hope you are all aware that to how the particular AFC, the move of the AFC, uh, major impact uh, productivity in the AFC is a main role. Uh, mining methods, which is long, uh, uh, long wall mining, uh, sort of move from temporary deposits particularly. The part of mission concern. Well, most of the these are general long wall equipment suppliers are the joy mining machinery, the commercial companies are there, uh, coal plow shearers, and then these are the suppliers. So, with their handbooks, or you can be go through the, the specifications of the each one, uh, you can be uh, easily understanding the various parts of the, the, the technical terminology, these things also. With this uh, going to concluding this one. Thank you. Thank you very much.
ಕಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ 